If you'd like to see how I transform this plain party place masquerade mask into this lovely, glamorous, and blingy mask, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube! So today in this video, I am going to be adding some embellishments to this masquerade mask. I was invited to a masquerade ball. And I saw some really cute masks on Amazon, but I kind of waited to the last minute and they weren't going to be here until the day after the um, party. It's the 40th birthday party for a friend I of mine. I have the kind that you can like hold to your face, which is what I prefer because I don't like stuff strapped to my face and then it's on my lashes and I just don't like that. So this is cool. And I am really, literally running late to this party, so I have to like really put some on here pretty quickly. I'm going to be using some E6000. Um, I have some gems. I would take longer and add maybe some bigger size gems like these. I don't know if I'll have time to do that, but I have this really, really pretty, pretty, um, it's like a garland, I think. No, it's called, it's like, it's just some blingy chain material. I got it off AliExpress, got this off AliExpress for $10 for a yard, okay? So I'm just simply going to just Put a little E6000 on here and just kind of like go from here to here. That's probably really it. Um, This is just a one hitter quitter. I'm not going to wear this anymore. This mask was $9. But they had some really, really pretty ones online for like going for 30 or 40 So this is just to show you that you can spruce up something that you got online and take it to the next level. And nobody will know. They'll think you spent, you know, a lot of money on it. But no. So I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and just get started, you guys. And these scissors are gonna be enough to just clip this. Well, it should be. Okay, you might have to fight with it just a pinch. There we go. All right. So I'm gonna put the E6000 on here. You, I think, you don't want to put too, too much because you don't want it to like smudge through. But you want to put enough so it'll hold. And it's an all black event. Um, you're just going to wear, you know, I guess fancy dresses. It's freezing outside, so I'm going to just figure something out really quickly and get there and show my face, drop my gift off. Before you know it, it'll be over with. So, I'm gonna go halfway so this gets lined up decently. I'm just gonna kinda start here. Well, wait. I'm gonna start here and just kind of hold it. I could have cut off a little less, but I'm definitely not gonna worry about it. So make sure you make your measurement um, as accurately as possible. Okay, now I'm gonna continue adding the glue. Not too much, but again, you want to put enough. Oh my goodness, the other part already fell off. Oh no. Okay, so I actually have some clamps somewhere where I just make sure I don't go up that direction. And I'm gonna try to get this to dry quicker by um, using a heat gun to dry it a little faster. And I'll see how that works. So it pays to have some cute blinky stuff or some type of brooches or some type of something just in case you need to um, dress something up like on a fly, like really quickly. I love to have stuff. Oh no! Just in case. Okay, I thought I had got that on there, but I didn't. So this part is missing a little something, and I don't care. I'm trying to get out the door. And that already is like super pretty, already. 
I'm gonna cut this light down a little bit so you can get it's already very pretty okay so I'm just gonna hold this down for a moment but then I like I said I saw an opportunity to add a couple more gems so I kind of sized it up first but I decided to add it on the that side area right there just to give it a little bit more glam and these are a uh, large acrylic water drop gems that I have and I, I, I do have a link available for those in my description area and just adding these two more I think it just really set the mask off I also added two little small stones to where the nose area is I wasn't gonna add anything to it actually I have a, I'm have a friend at the party waiting for me she didn't buy a mask, so I picked up an extra thinking maybe just somebody could use But look how cheap it is. It was 89 cents. Look at this little thin kindergarten little thing right here. This will break off in no time. Hopefully it won't. But yeah, I'm going to just add something to this just to see if it fit. And just to, you know, just to give a little hope. If you see the 89 cent mask, you may not have the $9 for the $9 mask. So let's just see. I'm just curious. You know what I could what I could do for this little 89 cent flimsy mask okay so in this mask it's much smaller and much thinner so obviously I'm not gonna add any extra um, bling chain everything to that because you see it how thin that little um, head tab is to have on the back of your head I have this ribbon this diamond ribbon I was trying to see how that looked on there. I didn't really care for how it looked. I didn't want to overwhelm this mask. You could see it could break easily. And then I also had to end up changing it out anyway. I'll show you. This E6000 in these bigger size gems, it was just going to take way too long to really lock in place. They were kind of sliding all over the place, so I had to use a different method as you'll see in the video. Um, but I just had put the, the three gems there. But I just had to keep on adjusting them. When you're using those bigger size gems, you have to like really have some time to like really let it set. And as you know, I was on my way to a party. So it just wasn't gonna work. Stones to this, you could definitely do more. I don't know how that's gonna stay. I'm just gonna let this lay flat and then we'll just see how it turns okay, out. Okay, so I changed my mind. I took the E6000 off. Those gems just, it just wasn't gonna, I didn't feel like it had any hope. So I'm wiping this. I don't know how this alcohol is gonna react to this uh, material, but I figure if I'm gonna do that, with the stones being so big, um, it's getting so ashy. I am going to use those stones for something else. I'm gonna try to put on the gems with some UV resin glue, hard glue. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna give it a try and see, because I like to use this stuff on other things. So you can get this on Amazon. You can make keychains and stuff with this. I've been using this in my videos lately for different things. If you wanna lock something heavy on instantly and not wait for it that long time for it to dry, this is, um, I just use one little dot. We'll see if it if it if it cures on this material. Like instant. So we'll see. This little plastic stuff. You gotta make sure it's straight, because once this locks on, however you have it on there is how it's gonna be. So we'll see. We'll find out in seconds. And this UV resin, um, it does not have that foul, foul odor that the um, epoxy resin has. Um, what else I want to say about this stuff? And most people have one of these nail glues, uh, these nail um, UV lamps. I originally bought it for nails, but I use it for stuff like this. So it's it's actually really great. These lamps cost you no more than ten bucks or less on eBay or Amazon. So let's see, what did it do? Perfect. Locked on. Locked. Perfect. Okay. However you okay. want it. Make sure it's in the place you want it to be in because once it locks in place, it's on there. And I'm using a wax pickup tool. 
Um, I should have some links um, for you to see where you can purchase this. I sell gems, rhinestones, things of that nature on eBay. So this is something like really, it takes seconds. On the, um, the bottle it says it, the UV lamp uh, of 36 watts cures um, this solution in... It cures in three minutes, um, but for me it's, it's actually on most things that I've used it on, it cures in like seconds. But the longer you let something cure, the better, of course, so. Okay, you guys, here is the final finished result of this masquerade ball themed mask. And I think it came out absolutely beautiful. This mask was nice and heavy. I like that it was on that little, um, that stick thingy. This was beautiful. And once it dried and everything set, it was very nice. It looked like it cost a lot more than what it was. So this just gives you an idea of how you can glam up this mask in less than five or 10 minutes if you have some things around your home or your little blingy kits or uh, you know whatever you have. Um, so you know, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about this mask and the other mask I'll show you in the next clip. I really enjoyed making this. Um, I think the bling really sets it off and just makes it look a lot better. You know, of course someone may buy this and just wear it plain. Um, but you know, if you're into the bling, that's not what you'll do. We just don't do plain all the time. But I really like this. Now this mask, of course, is a little more low key. Wasn't too much you can do with it. But I think it came out really pretty as well. Not bad for 89 cent, adding three charms to it. Um, to you know glam it up, but thanks you guys for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it Bye bye MyRoyalRadiance.com we sell lip gloss hand sanitizers shoe charms and much more Use my coupon code Royal Beauty 10 off for a special discount for my subscribers Be sure to check out our website see our technical defense.com where we sell in waistband gun holsters available in four different sizes. We also carry gun cleaning mats and much more. Use my special discount code VIBES, V I B E S, for my subscribers. Shout out to my new subscribers. Hello to all my subscribers. And be sure to make sure you hit that notification bell. And also check out my other playlists and videos of me embellishing um, different shoes, wine glasses, um, wine bottles, and, and things of that nature. Thanks again, you guys. Bye bye.